My last Blackhawks player review for the day is on Blackhawks right winger Patrick Kane. Here are his statistics from the 2014-15 NHL season. He played in 61 games, scored 27 goals, had 37 assists, had 64 points, and his plus-minus was 10. This is how well he did last season. It's no surprise that Kane had another outstanding season. He had 64 points in 61 games. He was tied first in points in the NHL. He was named NHL Second Star of the Month back in January. And he was also an assistant captain in the 2015 NHL All-Star Game. On February 24, 2015, Kane's season was cut short after he fractured his left clavicle when he was hit into the boards by the Florida Panthers' Alex Petrovic. He missed the rest of the regular season, but he was well enough for the Stanley Cup playoffs. During the playoffs, Kane did great. He had 11 goals, three of them were game-winning goals, and he scored the insurance goal in Game 6 of the Stanley Cup Finals against the Tampa Bay Lightning. This is my opinion of Kane from my point of view. I thought Kane did very well this season. When he got hurt, I was devastated because Kane is an important part of the team. And I can only imagine that the Blackhawks not having one of their top players in the lineup was at times challenging, but the team was able to adapt without him in the lineup until he got better. What to expect from him this this season? While Kane's eight-year contract with the Blackhawks is supposed to kick in, but given his off-season legal issues, his future with the team and the Chicago Blackhawks organization remains unknown, well, at least for the time being. If everything works itself out, he could play on the same line with newcomer Artem Anisimov. This concludes my Blackhawks play review on Blackhawks right-winger Patrick Kane.